Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, as Liz mentioned, I'm Cecilia Isaacs Blendon, Senior Director of Total Rewards at Comcast NBC Universal, and Chair of the Webeck East Board of Directors. I use she, her pronouns. And I'm joined by Cindy Towers, who's President and CEO of Juror Solutions. Cindy, give them a wave, as well as several other members of our board. And we are all excited to welcome you here today. So going on to the next slide, uh, We Back East is here to support you uh, on your continued success wherever you are on your entrepreneurship journey. We Back East advocates for women business owners and entrepreneurs across Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Southern New Jersey. And we do this through classes, consulting, and resources that support startups in the greater Philadelphia area through our SBA grant. And we also certify women-owned businesses under the mantle of the Women's Business Enterprise National Council, or WeBank. And you just heard welcoming remarks from Pamela, who's uh, the president and CEO of that organization. And of course, we also provide networking opportunities for women-owned businesses and supplier diversity professionals across the region and the country. So now I'll turn it back over to Liz um, to give you a look at where we're going. Great. Thanks so much. So um, hello again. I'm Liz Walsh. <laughs> Just wanted to highlight a few of the things that we'll be talking about during today's session. Um, we will be going over, you know, we're still in this uh, world of post-COVID, uh, but now, you know, uh, more um, emphasis and, and interest and appetite for getting out in the public. So we have a robust offering of both virtual and in-person events coming up. You'll notice, uh, and we will get to this in a little bit, but you'll notice, hopefully you notice, on all of our social media that we have really been highlighting uh, some of our partners and success stories of women business owners that we work with. Uh, you'll be um, given all of the links that you need to if you don't already follow us on social media, but we have an incredible outreach and engagement team. We're going to be talking a little bit about expanding our reach as far as still maintaining the um, presence that we, the physical presence that we have in Philadelphia and in Pittsburgh, but the territory that we serve is the full Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the state of Delaware, and eight counties in Southern New Jersey. So we have some ideas of kind of mixing up where we're at so that we're able to uh, get to know the people in those specific areas. Um, scholarship opportunities, I'll go into in a minute, but please get your pen out because we want you to save the date or record it in your um, in your phone. October, Thursday, October 10th is our next Desserts and More. By a show of hands, how many folks have already joined us at our Desserts and More events? So if you haven't, you are really missing out. It's a wonderful event where we have our awards and recognition of all of the council partners and the women-owned businesses that we are working with to um, give them the recognition that they so deserve. But we also highlight women-owned uh, bakeries and restaurateurs, and there's a full buffet spread. And because it's our annual fundraiser, everything that you eat is no calories. So we make that promise to you. So you could come to uh, Desserts and More, so please mark your calendars. That will be Thursday, October 10th. So I would like, uh, so, uh, and you'll hear more about some of the other things about where we're going throughout this. But I do want to introduce our team. So you can see them all on the slide. Uh, most of them have their purple background. So team, if you could all just wave. And if you could all take a moment to put in the chat your name, your position, and tell everyone on the call something interesting about yourself. It's a great way for people to get to know you. Give us something interesting. I could tell you something interesting about each one of the team members, but I'll let them do it themselves. So team, if you would all take a moment and just drop something interesting in the chat for everyone to see and get to know you. But we're very proud of our team, both our um, subcontracted as well as our internal team. We have part-time, full-time and contracted staff and it's um, the best group of people I have ever been blessed to work with in my life. So that's the team and we're all on, um, uh, if you look at the Our Team page, 
on our website, you can have our direct contact information, phone number, email, and LinkedIn profile. So please do contact us as you need. So here's a little bit more about the scholarship opportunities. Two years ago, we started with the uh, uh, generous donation of $10,000 from Harmelin Media, Joanne Harmelin, one of our originally certified uh, WBEs, Women Business Enterprise Certified We Bank woman business owner. She started the Harmelin Media Scholarship for a woman-owned company that needs um, to expand in some way. It's not necessarily only reserved for certified women business owners, but for any in need. So she gives us the scholarship funds twice a year. So that amounts to $20,000 that we are able to get out to deserving women business owners. We will be continuing that into 2024. Last year, we received funding from Capital One to do a pitch contest, again, for uh, not necessarily certified individuals, but some of the folks that are just starting out and come through our programs, through our SBA funded programs, and are brand new entrepreneurs. So we will be having that pitch contest as well through scholarship funding. And Parks Casino, I'm not sure if they're represented on the call, but what we've been working with with Parks Casino and American Water, we had events with both of them. And because we are a nonprofit, please understand that we do have to charge registration fees for most of our events. But that really goes to your most of you are business owners. You know, these uh, credit card processing fees are, are uh, crazy these days. But also, the platforms that we use for registration, everything costs us money. So we are a nonprofit. We do try to, to make sure that costs are as minimal as possible. And we're very grateful when we have one of our corporate partners who can help us share the burden of, of any costs. With Parks Casino and American Water last year, we started a program where uh, they subsidized the majority of the meeting that we had at their location, which was phenomenal. And we took out the true costs that we had to incur and the rest went into a scholarship program where we're using it for new business certification waivers. So businesses in our region who are less than five years old and make less than $100,000 in annual revenue can apply for and may be eligible for getting their certification fee waived. Thank you. Thanks to Parks and American Water. So we're very excited about that. This, this is uh, just our, uh, we started it last year, but this will be the first year, 2024 will be the first year that we will actually be able to uh, offer those scholarships. So, and now I have the pleasure of introducing the one and only, the famous Pamela Prince Eason, the president and CEO of WeBank. You are too kind, Liz. Thank you so much for having me here with you guys. I absolutely love to be here. Um, for all of you who don't know me, uh, if you see me somewhere and Liz and I are both there, you are very likely to think Liz and I are the same person. I am proud of that. Um, so so if you get a chance to say hi to one of us or both of us, we'd love to, to see and hear from you. Um, Liz, I just continue to be so amazed by the great work that you do. Um, you always rightly recognize um, your board, your staff, and I've watched this staff grow over time. And when I say grow, I don't mean grow in number, uh, though there are a few more. I mean, the talent level just continues to raise and raise and raise with your group. You are an amazing leader. Um, and so just kudos to you for everything that you've been doing there. Um, I also want to do a couple of other shout outs. Um, I want to make sure that in addition to Liz, the staff and the board, um, that I do a big shout out to Peggy Del Fabro, um, to uh, Cindy Towers and many other of the WBEs who are there. Uh, Peggy leads the Women's Forum at the national level. And so she just continues to, to not only get people engaged with you at We Back East and um, um, locally, but also um, across the United States and is very, very active. Um, so we're just super glad. She also is one of our conference sponsors this year, and we'll be hearing a lot more about that. 
Uh, she, along with Hannah Kane and Kelly Kolar, not in your territory, just do an amazing job at Peggy's leadership. Is, is it, We're so grateful for it. I'm grateful to have her on our board as well. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to, to say a big thank you and also to talk to you about just how important it is that you're active with your regional location and also with national. Um, you know, Liz is my partner in crime and partner in everything that we do to make a difference for WBEs and to make things better for corporate America. Um, our teams work very closely together. Um, you really do need to be both local and, and regional. Um, mm -hmm. An example of what WBEs there have caused to happen nationally is uh, Laura Taylor, who's also on this call. She's one of my senior vice presidents, a leader in my organization. Uh, she works with uh, Peggy and the other ladies that I've mentioned. And one of the ideas that they came forward with is we have at a national level a supplier diversity program journey to grow programs for, for our uh, corporate members. And it's very intense with great material available to help those programs grow. Well, because of Peggy, Hannah, and the forum ladies working together with Laura, in April of this year, we're going to introduce a WBE supplier diversity program journey. That is happening because of Peggy's leadership, because of the great forum, um, because of the voice of WBEs uh, like those in your territory. Um, so I just wanted to talk about just how tied together this particular network is and just how valuable it is. Additionally, I'm not going to say much about the National Conference because I know you guys are already doing that. We're tremendous partners in creating this amazing Amplify um, uh, theme that's occurring this year. Last year, we had Momentum. We'll We'll be highlighting your star, we'll be highlighting um, your host committee member, we'll be highlighting your council. There'll be lots of opportunity for you to interact at the national conference with your region. Um, so again, that partnership amongst us is super key. I have several members of my staff on this annual meeting because this RPO is so very important to us. I just want to say that I already know of many of your great programs, your great results. Um, you guys are so interactive. Um, you're, you're so creative and there's so much great to say about you. Um, we consider you one of the best of the best, the most excellent, et cetera. And your plan for 2024 is exactly that. It just continues to amplify your voice, the voice of everyone in the group, the voice of We Back East. Um, and the voice of WBEs. So as we go into this next year with such great resourcing around us, um, and we're trying to tackle some of the attacks that are occurring on the DEI space, I feel very certain that this WeBank network is going to be strong, we're going to be effective, and we're going to accomplish things for our WBEs and our corporate members, and we're going to do that together. Um, and so I fully see us just continuing on full force, um, growing, and having even more available to each and every one of you, whether you're here as a WBE or whether you're here as a corporate partner. Uh, thank you for all that you do for WeBank East. Thank you for all that you do for WeBank. Thank you for all that you do for not only WBEs, but other um, minority business uh, enterprises, LGBTBEs, um, differently abled uh, BEs just the, the gamut, our veterans, um, just so important. Can't do it without all of you. Um, again, you're with a great organization at Webeck East with great leadership, with great staff, with a great board and great advisors. Um, so just thank you from the national office. Thank you for allowing us to be here with you. And we look forward to seeing all of you next at the national conference. Do make sure that you look at Webeck East um, at their website. Um, their calendar, I looked at it just today because I had to answer questions in our open house about things going on at Webeck East. And so the calendar is beautiful. It tells you every resource that's available to you. And again, uh, mentions desserts and more in October. So hopefully we'll see you at the national conference, but be active locally. So look at that Webeck East calendar. Um, Liz, I can turn it over to you or I would be proud, proud to introduce Sonia. I, I, I'll, I'll introduce Sonia because I just wanted to say, but thank you, Pam. Um, we belong to, we're a nonprofit organization headquartered in Philadelphia, but we belong to two national organizations. Uh, one, WeBank, and we are one of 14 partner organizations that are kind of the boots on the ground 
for uh, Pam and Team WeBank. And we also partner closely with the SBA. So now I'll turn it over to Sonia Smith, our other partner. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Liz, for having me today. And it's so appropriate because 2023 was the 35th anniversary of the Women's Business Ownership Act of 1988. And what that really did was it helped change the way women do business in America, most importantly, by empowering them to start their own. Before that time period, if you can believe it, women had to have a male co-signer sign a business loan. Well, that led the way for a SBA to lend directly to women entrepreneurs. Also, that legislation in 1988 established the National Women's Business Council, and it provided seed funding for the SBA to launch women's business centers, WBCs, which today are an integral part of SBA's resource partner network, helping women entrepreneurs throughout the U.S., access capital, whether it's loans or research funding, training and counseling in the areas of certification, contracting, disaster preparedness, export assistance, just to name a few things. And although the WBC programs and services are targeted towards women, they are available to all genders. Um, SBA, we support WEPEX East five stages of, on, of the entrepreneurship journey, and um, I encourage you again to take a look at their website to see what are those five um, journeys, and the way we do that is we support them through an annual matching grant, which uh, Liz and her team um, apply for and um, have been getting, so uh, kudos to uh, continuing to get the SBA support. Uh, women have made an outsized contribution to new business creation, and that really is in no smart, small smart uh, due to the resources provided by our WBCs. Just some statistics um, from 2019 to 2023, the growth of women-owned small businesses was 94% greater than the growth of male-owned businesses. In regards to SBA lending to women-owned small businesses, Again, it's on the rise with loan counts increasing by 70% since 2020 and total loan dollars exceeding $5 billion in 2023 for women to start and grow their business. In fact, women-owned businesses now make up more than one-fifth of the SBA's lending portfolio compared to 15.6% in 2020. Obviously, from all of this information, you can see that women-owned small businesses are helping to power America's historic small business boom, and the SBA remains committed to ensuring that women receive the capital and the resources they need to build resilient businesses and create jobs to fuel our economy through the programs offered by our Women's Business Center. So I encourage you to check out um, the offerings that WeBeck has on their website. Now, I do want to let you know, again, because uh, the programs are federally funded, we do ask for a lot of data, and I don't want that to be a deterrent to you, but for you to realize that Liz and her team are asking for that data so they can, can, they can continue to have the SBA grant to support the programs. Uh, so thank you very much for having me here today, and um, I will put my contact information into the chat if there's anyone that I can assist with anything. Sorry, I'm muted. There was a, 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 a an ambulance that went by. Really fantastic. We so appreciate those statistics. Really, really interesting. Um, so thank you. And so thank you, Sonia, and thank you, Pam, for your partnership. Now, uh, going into more statistics, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Colleen Lacoste. Colleen is our Director of Certification and Business Development, and she is incredible at data mining and looking at details. Uh, and she's one of the few people I know that has the ability to look both at the micro and the macro level. So she's brought all those skills to us and will be telling you a little bit about what we see, what we've been seeing in 2023 as far as the demographics of our WBEs and hinting towards where we're going. So take it away, Colleen. 
Thanks so much, Liz. I have the thrill of sharing a lot of fun information with you today. Um, next slide, please. All right, so a little bit about our economic impact. Um, over the last year through the courses, consulting, and certification that we've provided, we have helped 15 new businesses get started, get off the ground, um, which is really exciting. We love to see this number each year. Through our SBA grant, we have served 831 unique clients. That is 831 unique businesses in our greater regional area that have come to us for support. Through our WBEs, over the last year, you guys have all generated over $9.4 billion in revenue that is staying in a local economy that is going towards small businesses. And you have all supported over 28,700 jobs in our local area. So small businesses are making an enormous impact. Next slide, please. We are continuing to grow. If we look at just five years ago, we were just on the cusp of 1,300 certified WBEs. We now have um, over 1,700 WBEs and continuing to grow. Um, we had 249, 245 new people get certified this past year, which funnily enough is the exact same number in 2022 of <laughs> brand new WBEs that got certified. Um, and just another really interesting thing that we noticed was over a third of our new WBEs, a third of those 245 folks who got certified, launched their business since the pandemic uh, in 2020. So a lot of new small businesses, a lot of women who have decided the pandemic is the catalyst to go their own way, do their own thing, be their own boss. Next slide, please. So who are you guys? You represent every industry under the sun. People ask me all the time, you know, what's the, what's the majority, you know, are, are they consultants? Are they, you know, in, in manufacturing products, literally everywhere. The biggest constituents are construction, people in construction, and then followed by manufacturing, wholesale, consulting. But as you can see on here, literally every industry under the sun, IT, engineering, retail, HR, transportation, finance, arts. If you are looking for a small business to work with, we have a small business owner for you, for any service, any product under the sun. Next slide, please. And the vast majority of you guys are small, which I think you all know. Um, so about 80% of you guys make under $5 million in, in annual revenue a year. About 45% uh, percent are under 1 million a year. So small businesses. 18% um, of our WBEs are one woman show, sole proprietors or single member LLCs. And of our brand new businesses, the ones that just got certified, about 37% of you guys are one woman shows. So kudos to you because it is a lot of hard work. Um, and then, you know, you'll see on this slide here, only a small percentage of our WBEs are really kind of falling into that jumbo area. So we, we love our small business owners and we encourage you guys to continue to work with each other and support each other. Continue. We're also seeing our demographics starting to change and become more diverse, which is very exciting. Historically, um, over the last year, about 16% of our WBEs are women of color, but of our brand new WBEs that just got certified this past year, over a third of you are women of color, which is really exciting that we're seeing our WBEs diversify. We are also seeing a really diverse range of ages. Um, about 12% of you guys are are young, are, are the young millennials or the Gen Zs that are um, becoming the newest CEOs in, in our network. So um, really excited to see the diversity of people that we have. Continue. We also have business owners all over the place. Um, the vast majority, I would say the vast majority, about half of you guys live in the greater <laughs> Philadelphia area, but we have quite a large contingency out in Pittsburgh, quite a large contingency around the greater Harrisburg area, and then a bunch more all throughout Pennsylvania, um, quite a lot in the 295 corridor in uh, New Jersey, and then in Delaware, most of you guys in Delaware are in, in the North. But as you can see, we try to serve our business owners all over the place. And 
Um, my colleague Steve will talk about where we're having in-person events all throughout our region in the coming year. So while that was our local network, as Pam said, please get engaged in the national network too, especially if you are certified. Um, you know, you have access to 14 different regions who are all doing events virtually in person. If you have staff, if you have a remote staff person out in Seattle, have them get active in Weback Pacific. Take advantage of this vast national network that you are a part of. There are over 18,000 certified WBEs and growing over 400 corporations and government agencies that pay dues to WeBank to have access to our small business owners. Really lean in and take advantage of our national network. Don't just stay local. Keep going, please. So let's talk a little bit about the future and the trends that we're seeing. Um, we survey every year in December, the end of the year, our business owners to learn a little bit more about you guys and where you're going in this year. So this past year, we asked, what are the upcoming 2024 trends that you expect to be impacting your business? By far, I don't think this is a surprise. We saw artificial intelligence. Um, that is the number one concern, curiosity that is coming out. Um, other big things that we've been seeing, influencer social media marketing. Obviously, inflation and financial wellness. Um, a lot of you guys looking at diversity, inclusivity, accessibility, mental health, burnout prevention, work-life balance, and ESG and sustainable business practices. So a lot of cool um, uh, programs we're going to be doing focusing on these, um, both at the national level and the local level. Continue, please. We also surveyed you guys to see what are you working on? What are you thinking about for 2024? The biggest one we saw coming back was people are working on supplier diversity goals or they're thinking about putting in a supplier diversity program, which is really exciting. The past three years in a row, 80% of people have said that they are actively seeking to work with other women-owned businesses. So when you look at those 18,000 certified WBEs in that network, they could all be your clients too. Don't get so hung up on these corporates who are awesome that you also forget about the other small businesses. So other things that we're seeing you guys working on, formal business plans, capital growth strategies, ESG sustainability plans, succession procedures, um, whether or not you are looking to retire now or in 25 years, and also cyber and data security. Um, you guys are really thinking about the future and we want to be here to support you for that. Next slide, please. All right, so now that I've given you all that exciting information, what are we gonna do with it? Well, here to talk about it, we have our committee chairs and our staff to talk a little bit more about the programs that you are expecting to see through the year ahead and the resources and initiatives that we have. So. Kicking us off with the committees, we're going to start with our certification committee. I would like to pass the mic over to Carrie Donovan, president of Precis Commissioning, who is our chair, and Mark Lawrence, who is a commercial banking vice president and certified women's business advocate with PNC. Mark and Carrie, you have the floor. Great. Thanks so much, Colleen. So if we can go to the next slide, let's talk a little bit about some of those WBE fast facts and figures that Colleen shared with us. The certification committee had a very busy year this past year. We now have over 1,700 WBEs, which each file had to be processed by staff and certification committee. So we were quite busy and we need lots of volunteers to help us uh, produce all this, uh, all these new WBEs. And those 245 new WBEs were pretty exciting applications to come through, new businesses that we get to see, um, people pivoting from the pandemic. It's been, it's been a great time. And we are the third largest, right, Colleen, WBE and WeBank. And we bank. Uh, so this is pretty exciting for us. We're, we're growing and growing. Let's see the next page. So uh, each month, uh, WeBank East hosts a webinar for anybody who's interested in getting certified, whether you're just getting to know us or we're already well underway. This webinar is going to uh, help with eligibility requirements to see if you can get certified. If it's right for you, how much does it cost? documents that are required and what to expect. 
So this webinar is uh, calling hosts every, every month. So if you are not certified yet, this is a great way to see if it's something for you. But if you are certified and you can't remember why all the good things that are, are available to you, let's look at this. You have access to hundreds of major U.S. corporations, federal, state, and local government agencies looking to work with you as a certified WBE. You get to use your WeBank seal and women-owned logos on your business card, your marketing materials, and your products. You get to participate in WBE networking events, both locally and through all 14 regions. Remember, we can participate in all the RPO activities. You get to attend national one-on-one -on -one matchmaker meetings with corporate members at WeBank and be a part of a local network of women entrepreneurs with access to education, mentoring, and eligibility for awards. And remember, 80% of you want to do business with other WBEs, so it's time to get certified. Mark, why don't, why don't you talk about our certification committee? Sure. Thanks, Carrie. And we saw the numbers that uh, Colleen and Carrie shared about just the volume. Uh, we The certification committee continues to be extremely busy. And with the excellent support of the WBEC East staff, we look forward to another great year of continued strong application volume. Our committee is comprised of dedicated volunteers from around the RPO region and is supported by the fantastic work of our certification committee staff. The team of volunteers takes part in a streamlined and comprehensive and rigorous training program that is as informative, informative as it is exciting. We adhere to our organizational guidelines and apply these standards to every application. Volunteers work alongside the staff to thoroughly review these applications, confirming ownership, control, expertise, and independence of the applicant WBE. During our certification meetings, we represent our findings to the applicant file and put forth our recommendation to the group for discussion as needed and then ultimately for a vote. With an ever-growing pipeline of applicants, we can so certainly use more help to our experienced WBEs and our corporate sponsors, put your knowledge to work for the continued growth of our RPO. We are seeking site visitors as well as application reviewers. Application reviewers spend about an hour or so with a staff member in preparation for each upcoming committee meeting. During that time, we review the applications and prepare a recommendation to be put forth to the committee. And our ask is that these reviewers join at least, at least six meetings per year. Site visitors generally conduct one to two site visits per month. A site visit generally takes about an hour and it's usually handled on a virtual basis. This is the time that we spend one-on-one -on -one with each applicant. The committee provides an outline prior to the visit, highlighting any issues that, that need further digging and then discuss during the, the conversation to learn about the history of the firm, understand the applicant's vision, confirm that the pillars of WBE certification status are in place. This process is truly eye-opening. To review an application, then learn about the journey of the applicant, and then to finally meet the applicant through a site visit, it's really rewarding and really important part of the process. If you're interested in volunteering, again, we can use help. We have big volumes. Please contact Colleen or Yana Massey and let them know you're interested. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mark and Carrie. I am now going to pass it over to Steve Damweber, one of our staff members, Senior Manager of Outreach and Engagement, to talk about some of the programs, workshops, and events that you can expect over the next year. All right. Thanks, Colleen, and thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, as Colleen mentioned, I'm Steve Damweber. I'm the Senior Outreach and Engagement Manager at Webeck East. Um, so we'll be talking about some of the events that we're very excited about this year. We hope you are as well. If you haven't been to any events, it's no problem. I'm going to give you a, a kind of a brief rundown of everything we're doing. And we always recommend to go to our uh, Webeck East slash events page, which we will put in the chat. And you can always just check out what's going on at Webeck East. So first, I really want to highlight our virtual doing business with the corporate sessions. As you can see, these are all of our sessions for the year of 2024. We're thrilled to have them all scheduled. Um, this might be the first time that we have them all scheduled as of the first or, set, or what are we in the third week of January now. So we're really excited about that. Um, with that, if you haven't been to a doing business with session, these are a way to connect directly with our corporate partners. You have the ability of listening about their company, listening about what corporate uh, procurement opportunities are available and ask questions directly to the point of contact. Um, you also get contact information. They will show best practices and they will also show typically how to, you know, 
um, get into their portal or gain access to these procurement opportunities. These sessions are great. As you can see, we had a lot of different corporate partners that are participating this year. Some of them have participated in the past, some are new, um, but there's a, a, a about at least one a month. There are um, some months that we have two. Um, we will also allow, so these sessions are not just doing business with the corporates, it's also doing business with the other WBEs on the call. So I know a few of you have mentioned it throughout this presentation. Um, we do always ask that you're not, what you're procuring for or looking for, maybe someone on the call is also looking for. So always putting that opportunity into these calls and it is a way to meet virtually. So these sessions are great because you it's not just about our region. We, we see a lot of WBEs from all over many different reason, regions and all over the country. So um, it, it's a great opportunity to, con to connect with any of these organizations, no matter where you're located. So we'll go to the next slide, please. We are also thrilled to announce that we'll be having three in-person meet and greet events this year. Um, so we're trying to become more in-person as Liz mentioned earlier in the presentation. Um, our first in-person meet and greet will be held on April 11th. It will be doing business with the casinos. Um, this event was held last year. So it'll be similar uh, context where you'll be meeting with our uh, casino uh, mem our partners, our, our council partners at our casino at Parks Casino in Ben Salem. Um, so you'll have an opportunity to meet and greet and hear a little bit more about them. So that is on April 11th. There will be, for all these events, they are on our website or there will be save the dates on our website. So just to reiterate that, some of them you cannot register for today, but there will be more information and actual registration coming soon. Um, on May 14th, we are exp going out to Western PA. So we're um, at UPMC in Pittsburgh. We'll be having our doing business with Western PA. So most of the corporations that will be attending will be Western PA, but it is open to all corporates anywhere. So if you're interested in that, we will be reaching out. Um, and we're excited to be in Pittsburgh to try to have more of the state of Pennsylvania covered. As well as in August, on August 7th, we will be uh, doing business with the utility. So if you're a utility company or work in any kind of utility fashion, we will be um, in Allentown, Pennsylvania, so more northern Pennsylvania, and we will be hosted by PPL. And we'll be having a session for any utility related company. Um, so again, these are all save the dates. There's more information to come. I would recommend highly checking out our website. I'm sure if you haven't seen any of our constant contacts or social media, please sign up. Um, Taylor will talk more about that later in this presentation, but there is on our first homepage of our website, you can sign up for our emails and we will always update you about any of these events that will be going on, especially once they're live. So it's definitely stay tuned and we're happy that we're going to be in person all across Pennsylvania this year. And the last couple events that I'd like to talk to, talk about, um, coming up our, in person is our Women's History Month event, Luncheon. This event will be happening on March 12th at Parks Casino in Ben Salem. Um, this event is on our website. It is a save the date, but there will be a lot of information. Some of you may be familiar with the, this event we actually had last year. Um, but we are doing it at Parks Casino. Um, this year we will be uh, featuring is corporations and having meet and greet with a lunch. Um, it will be on the Parks Casino racetrack. So it's a very it's a very good location. It's different from where the meet and greets will be what were held last year at the beer garden. So uh, more information to come, but it is on our website. So we will drop that in the chat and we look forward to you being part of the, our meet and greets and lunch on and for our Women's History Month. And I would like to also talk about our educational work, workshops that we offer. So throughout the year, we offer many different sessions on many different topics, whether you're in startup or sunset in your business, there are many topics that we have. So finding your funding, how to get your LLC, covering your legal basis, financial literacy, hiring your first employee, and so much more. We like to adapt to these workshops and actually make updates throughout the year. So stay tuned as these we continue to add to our workshops. And whenever we send out surveys, always look to participate because that's how we always take some of your information and looking at Colleen's data to try to think about what workshops would make sense for our WBEs. So as I mentioned earlier, please go to our website, Webeck East and, at, and, and slash events. If you just go to our website at Webeck East, you can click on events and you will see all everything coming up that we have so far in 2024. There is a robust amount of events in 2024 so far. So thank you for spending some time with me today and I'll turn it back over to Colleen.
Great. Thanks so much, Steve. Um, so as, as he said, please keep an eye out, continue to read our newsletters, um, follow us on social media as we get registration up for all of these events. And um, I do also want to mention that every month, if you are a newer WBE or just haven't been as engaged, every month I do a program called Maximizing Your Certification, where I get more into the nitty gritty of um, you know, how to really connect with supplier diversity executives and what kind of events you can expect coming up. So please join me. Again, we do it every month. We'll be posting dates throughout the year. All right, moving on to our next committee. I am thrilled to welcome Amanda Mortimer, who is the Managing Member of Innovative Development, LLC, and Mary Nielsen, who is the President of Avatar Information Services, Inc., who head up our Next Gen Committee. Turning it over to you, ladies. Hi, thank you, Colleen. Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending today. I'm um, excited to be here and share with everyone um, about our next gen programs that are coming up and a little bit about how we do our programming. Um, although we are the next gen committee, all of our events are open to everyone. WBEs, uh, women owned businesses that aren't quite certified yet, we welcome everyone to join us. Our programs are really focused on supporting WBEs growth and success in the future. Um, and our webinars are hosted in a panel style, most of them, where we have a panel who discusses the topic. And then at the end, we do breakout sessions. This allows us to really collaborate with other WBEs and network, which, as you can hear, has been a part of the theme of this entire event is working with WBEs and getting to know them. Um, this year, we are excited to focus on ESG and your ESG as a WBE. So next week um, on 24th, we'll be uh, hosting establishing supplier diversity goals for WBEs. I did see an email come out this morning about registering. So if you saw that, please register. We have some amazing WBEs on our panel that are here to, that will be discussing that with you. And then we will also have a breakout session too. Um, in April, we will be having another power hour for demystifying ESG. And then throughout the year, we're going to continue um, with our ESG mission with talking about different certifications associated with ESG that the corporates are looking for. And also we're gonna throw in some fun happy hours so we can get together and do something a little more social. So thank you so much. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in Nashville and also at our events coming up this year. Thank you, Colleen. Great, thank you so much, Amanda. And thank you, Marion. Um, as Amanda said, everyone is welcome to these programs. Um, I am going to introduce the next committee now, which is our Women of Color Committee, headed by Sharon Manger, who is the Supplier Diversity Director of Reading Group Inc., and Alvina Pete, who is the owner of Williams Pete & Associates. Hello, everyone. Hi, I'm Sharon. Um, we are looking at doing some dynamic things just to make sure that we really diversify what we've been doing with the Women of Color Committee. One thing we've heard from people is we only do stuff in Philly. And so we wanted to take a different approach this year for the Women of Color Committee and make sure that we, when we do start hosting events, that they will be in every state that is supported by WeBeckies. And so we've been in talk with corporations within our network. So some of you have heard from me, some of you, you will hear from me. Um, and that's because we want to do stuff in Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and Delaware to connect women of color uh, committee businesses, uh, not only with other WBEs, but also to help them grow, be resilient, influence, and trust. If you notice the theme, we called it GRIT. So our, our series this year is going to be a theme of GRIT to make sure that the women of color committee businesses are supported and that we have already reached out to several speakers within our network that can speak to those things. So growth and growing your business, um, resilience, how are you going to be sustaining, um, influence, how are you using your influence, um, both on social media and um, to support other WBEs, and how can we make sure that we have trust that corporations can work with uh, WBEs that are women of color. And so that's the theme that we're going to be going for forth with this year and there will be more to come. We want to make sure that any dates that we set up are going um, aligned with what is already scheduled with W with um, We Back East and that they don't they don't conflict with any of the virtual options that we also see with uh, We Bank National because we also follow that too and we push that stuff out um, to our group and membership to make sure that 
people are being very intentional about their time and resources and that you can participate not only in the We Back East events, but also um, the Women of Color Committee at the national level because there are also events there as well. And we've also lastly have been in talks with other Women of Color Committees across the different RPOs because they've reached out and they want to partner. And so we're going to look at how we can do some um, cross-functional team uh, things uh, to make sure that our committees can partner with their committees. Um, like I said, we are focusing on growth, uh, resilience, influence, and trust. And our theme for this year is grit. So thank you very much. Wonderful, thank you so much, Sharon. The next committee we are going to introduce is our awards committee. This is chaired by Barb Boucher, who is the president of Boucher Design and Communications, and Sandy Schrager, who is the director, supplier, de &I at PPL. Oh, Barb, you gotta unmute yourself. I know, sorry. <laughs> It's the, it's the throwback from the uh, the, the um, COVID. Anyway, here I am. I'm proud to be part of the awards committee program. We had a great um, effort in this this year. We um, actually increased the nominations to 92 nominations this year versus only 72 last year. Uh, I want to mention that we um, named this award program Give the gift, gift of Praise because it's so important for us to take time to praise somebody for, for just doing a little extra effort that people do. And it goes a long, long way. We've also spent some time uh, looking at the nomination forms to make it easy for you. And if you ever have any questions or stumbling, I'm always here. Uh, you could reach out to anybody. We're happy to help you through um, the nominations so that, you know, we can definitely get uh, a lot of credit to people that have credit too. So um, that's the part with the WBEs and I'll let Sandy talk a little bit about our um, council members awards. Absolutely, thanks Barb. So um, you'll see on the screen the, uh, the current council member award categories. One, we've kind of highlighted a new award for this year, the President's Award for Partner of the Year. We're kind of tweaking uh, what our Partner of the Year award used to be and really recognizing that uh, the the organization, We Back East, Liz and her team and everyone you've met on this call are really the best folks who can uh, indicate who the strong partners are within um, our council, within our region, and then just, you know, the strongest folks working with the organization in each year. We're really excited about that. Um, and to Barb's point, anybody can nominate. So there are self-nominated awards here. There are opportunities for you to nominate other corporates or other WBEs. So really be thinking about that as we look to open uh, nominations later this summer slash early fall. Um, and again, a pitch for the event. It is just phenomenal and a great time. Um, nobody goes home bored, that's for sure. That's right. It was fantastic. So we hope to see you all there and get your nominations and start thinking about them now. <laughs> great. Thank you so much, Barb and Sandy. The next conference uh, or the next committee we are going to introduce is the National Conference Committee, chaired by Lawrence Wooten, who is the Senior Manager of Supplier Diversity at American Water, and George Ergot, who is a Supplier Diversity Consultant with Communications Test Design Inc., to tell you all about the exciting things that are coming up this year in Denver. Uh, thanks, Colleen. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, again, we are tag teaming this between myself and George. so. Uh, George, definitely chime in uh, where you see fit. Uh, the reason we do this uh, is because the National Conference, as many have referenced uh, earlier in this uh, discussion, is the premier event for women-owned businesses in the, in the country. Uh, this is an event that is attended by many Fortune 500s, uh, a, a great deal of women-owned businesses looking to work together, looking for new opportunities to work together. Uh, this this uh, event has grown immensely over the time that I've been involved in supplier diversity. And it, as I mentioned before, it is the premier event for women-owned businesses. The reason we really want to focus on our particular region and ensuring that WBEs understand what's, what to expect uh, if they are to attend this event 
is because this is your opportunity to create those lasting relationships with corporate members from across the country. So we will be hosting uh, a, you know, a, a conference um, event to uh, basically share with you what to expect on the day of. So George, I'm gonna turn it to you for a few minutes. And if you wanna to touch on a couple of things here. Sure, thank you very much. And good to see you again. Uh, I am a member of the board of directors here at Wayback, and before retirement was responsible for supplier diversity and strategic sourcing at one of our corporate members. So I have a good feeling for what corporation is going through when they go to these conferences and also what we are hoping the WBEs know when they get there. The conferences are great opportunities to meet corporations and the fellow your fellow WBEs. Uh, I think that uh, the sharing, the learning and mentoring opportunities are brilliant as we're all together in one place. You're meeting with corporate procurement supplier diversity and executives right around every corner, as well as the formal meetings that take place. So our workshop is designed to help you plan for the impromptu, as well as the formal, prepare for the conference. I think that uh, you're going to enjoy hearing from the, uh, the WBE leaders that we have, and uh, I can read them off. I believe that they are correct, Kate. Amen. Uh, Kristen Riley, Cassandra Bailey, uh, Colleen will give us a sneak preek of the uh, conference itself. Uh, corporate perspective, you'll hear from the corporate members who'll tell you what you need to know more than just the formality, but things like wear comfortable shoes, uh, very basic ideas uh, about you know, when you when we appreciate having somebody say, would you like to sit down and talk instead of having one of those formal stand up meetings. But the uh, conference uh, workshop uh, is well worth it for every one of you uh, who have not been there as well as those who have been. So uh, I thank you very much. And Larry. Yeah. yeah, just to close it out before we go into the video, as you can see the important dates there, we uh, do have a seminar scheduled for uh, February, um, I believe, what is that, uh, 15th, to go over what to expect uh, as if you are to attend the conference. Uh, you see the list of early bird registrations and things of that nature. So as George said, get your comfortable shoes ready, because this is uh, the premier conference uh, for WBEs, and it is well worth attending. So Thank you, and Colleen, I'll turn it over to you. Great, thank you so much. And I will also mention that WeBank will be doing orientations too. If you are going to the national conference, um, their orientations are very much a lay of the land. Here's what the schedule is. Here are the things you can't miss. Whereas the WeBank East session is more, here are great tips for pitching. Here's what the corporates think that you should see. Um, it's more of best practices. So attend both, absolutely. And now we're going to give you a little sneak peek into what you can expect in Denver. I want to officially welcome you to Nashville for the 2023 WeBank National Conference. Who's ready to build some momentum this week with WeBank? We believe that empowering women is the key to unlocking economic growth and success. We're about helping women grow as leaders and creating a community for women entrepreneurs. An incredible group of women business owners, not only spanning across the nation, but across multiple industries as well. For decades, we have collaborated with this amazing organization to help connect women-owned businesses with the resources and support they need to succeed. It's easier to celebrate when you have people to celebrate with you. And it's just such an amazing community to be able to grow and thrive and scale and succeed together. The umbrella includes programs to close gender gaps in leadership and next-gen level talent and our entrepreneurial winning women. Initiatives for women founders to scale their businesses and dream big. 
We recognize that equity of all kind starts with understanding lived experiences and then eliminating barriers. Whether it's your very first WeBank conference or you're a seasoned attendee, we want everyone to experience the powerful networking that happens here and leverage the connections you make within the WeBank network. Together, we can build a brighter future for women-owned businesses. Awesome. So we really hope to see you guys there. Um, if you're thinking about it, definitely do it. Um, so I know we have talked about a lot of opportunities, a lot of programs, a lot of events over um, the last hour or so. So if you're feeling a little lost, I would like to introduce you to the Envoys, who are our welcome wagon. They are the ones that will take you under their wing. Um, and our Envoys are appointed after many years of service in different committees and events. Um, so here to talk a little more about um, kind of what you should take advantage of first and your journey through this network. Um, Mary Nielsen and Carrie Donovan would like to welcome you guys back. Hi. Um, uh, you, you might recognize some of the names and faces of our envoys, um, a few, as a few have already spoken today. And as Colleen mentioned, that's because um, our, our, our envoys are asked to serve. Um, they're WBEs who've been certified and actively engaged in the network at the local and national level. Um, that gives them the knowledge and experience to advise um, new WBEs, um, as well as WBEs who might have been certified for a while but not really engaged uh, in the network um, to help you get the most out of uh, the network and your certification. Um, and if you see us at an event, you want to connect on LinkedIn, however is best to uh, connect with us. We're all here to assist you um, as you move through the WBE journey that uh, Carrie's going to talk to you about. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Marian. So I, I love this diagram. It reminds me of Candyland. So it's like gamifying your WBE uh, certification. So number one, you got certified. Congrats. So now what do you do? So if you're newly certified or if you've been wondering how to make the most of that certification, check out Colleen's webinar which will show you the best ways to network and grow your business. You'll learn how to connect with other WBEs and park corporate and government members and about Webex various events, which we'll get into. You're going to then market yourself and use that WBE and women-owned logo on your marketing materials, including your certificates and your proposals and your, for your new and existing clients. You're going to attend local events. The more involved you are, the more opportunities that present themselves to you. And the National Conference and Business Fair is coming up in March. If you've never gone, be sure to attend Lawrence and George's event to know what to expect. And don't wait too long because early bird deadline is February 15th. It's right around the corner. There are plenty of opportunities to become a sponsor as a WBE and support new entrepreneurs. And there's an added perk that some of the sponsorships come with tickets to the events because remember, you were going to attend them anyway. And it's time to get involved in a committee. And you've heard all about the many ways you can get more involved with Webeck East. So there's no better time than the present to reach out and become a volunteer. You can get recognized at our annual awards ceremony, and you can even nominate yourself for others for local Wayback East awards. At the national level, there's no shortage of phenomenal national programming that's available to you as a WBE, and that can be found at WeBank's website. So take a moment to look through the program's eligibility requirements to see what looks like a good fit for you and your business. For those women business owners, there are opportunities to be nominated to serve as an envoy at the RPO level and as a forum representative at the national level. And your active participation and involvement with Webeck East may even lead you to be a nomination for receiving a national award. But the most important thing to note here is that this is by no means the end of your journey. You get out of your certification what you put into it. So embark on this trip and enjoy the ride with your fellow WBEs. Thank you so much, Carrie and Marion. That was a fantastic overview. Um, I really hope that you guys take advantage of everything that the WeBank Network has to offer. You know, many. WBEs will kind of stay within the one to five range, but know that there is so much more out there. And both Carrie and Marion have been nominated for the STAR, which is the highest national recognition award. We are really excited to very shortly announce our 2024 STAR. Um, I know that WeBank um, just announced them earlier today, so keep an eye out. Some of you guys may recognize her on the call right now. Um, but uh, we are going to hand it over to Peggy. Go ahead and say it. 
Okay, it is Kay Heeman Fluid Solutions. We are really excited um, to name her the 2024 star. This is our uh, first official uh, call out. Um, but keep an eye out on our website, social media, as, as we're going to um, highlight this. We've just been waiting. We weren't sure today if we think we're going to announce them or not. So um, if, if anyone sees Kate on here, um, please just uh, please highlight her <laughs> so she can wave to everyone. Um, but uh, that being said, I am going to now hand it over to Peggy Del Fabro, um, who is the ch uh, chair of the WeBank National Forum and also has been very active in so many different committees on WeBank East. Uh, uh, Peggy is the CEO of M. Davis and Sons, Inc. Peggy, take it away. Okay. I'm not sure if my camera's working right or not. Oh, here I am. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to see you all. So as Colleen said, I'm here representing the WeBank National Forum as your forum chair. And I wanna give you a little bit of information about how you can get involved with the forum. So what is the National Forum? WeBank National Forum members are highly engaged in the WeBank network and they're part of a leadership community. There are about 215 forum members from all of the 14 RPOs. They represent a variety of industries, types of businesses, and sizes of business. Forum members serve on business-focused forum teams where they share their expertise and knowledge. Forum members have early access through Forum First and other opportunities in the WeBank network. They participate in all forum meetings, forum team topic sessions, and WeBank national events. Eventually, there are opportunities to serve in leadership roles and to be eligible to serve on the WeBank board. The most important forum function is to support the WeBank network by helping other WBEs. Forum members are recognized as the voice of the WBEs within the WeBank network. So now that you know what the forum is, think about if the national forum is right for you. Think about whether a national presence is right for you or for your business. And if so, national forum participation is something that you should pursue. Think about who your customers are. In addition to our WeBank corporate members, other WBEs may be customers. And if you have your own supplier diversity program, other WBEs are potential suppliers. So how do you get involved with the National Forum? Um, the slide that Carrie shared had an excellent graphic on it, and that really outlines the path. Um, what, what the bottom line is, is that WBEs are nominated by their regional partner organization leader or the president of WeBank. So the path starts at the regional level, as Carrie said, by attending events and volunteering on committees. And here at WeBank East, the Envoy program serves as a feeder for our RPO National Forum representatives. So I can tell you firsthand that, you know, this path is exactly how I got to where I am today. And it's one of those things where what you put in is what you get out. Um, a, a previous forum chair from our RPO mentioned to me at one point, she said, there's a give and a get. So there's a balance there. Um, it's, it's definitely been very, very rewarding. And I highly recommend if your bandwidth is more national, that it's definitely worthwhile to get involved. So I hope my comments this afternoon have shed some light on the National Forum and how it can benefit you and your business. So I'll turn it back over to Colleen. Great, thank you so much, Peggy. All right, um, now we are going to welcome Dr. Erica Patterson, who is the Director of Contracts Management and Supplier Diversity at Philadelphia Gas Works. She is the chair of the WeBank East Council, which is comprised of our supplier diversity um, corporate and government uh, partners. So Dr. Erica, take it away. Thank you, Colleen. Um, good afternoon and also happy new year to everyone. 
Um, just wanted to say before I kind of go into my spiel for the um, council as the chair, I want to give a huge kudos and shout out. Not sure if Val is on the call, but she was the former chair of Lubeck East Council. So just want to say um, thanks, Val, for your leadership and also congratulations and enjoy your retirement as well. So if you see her, whether it be virtually or on a phone call or uh, in person, please make sure that you say congratulations to her on her retirement. Um, as council chair, I am really looking forward to this journey. I am also partnering with um, my co-chair, George Robertson. Not sure if he's on the call today, but just wanted to let everyone know that we are definitely here for you. We serve as leaders um, from a partner standpoint. So here in front of you, you see some of our partner benefits and um, our partner benefits as a council member or a council partner. It definitely gives you um, high access to the directory of certified WBEs. It definitely helps you curate supplier suggesting lists or sourcing lists. It also helps assist you in getting your current supplier certified. I must say that uh, Liz and her staff does a really good job um, as it relates to walking um, WBEs or new WBEs through the process and letting them know what type of um, resources and tools that they have to offer to help the WBE, WBEs as well through the council. Um, there's also great access to the doing the business as Steve already shared. Um, also great access for um, meet and greets and uh, speed networking events that WB, for the WBEs that the council has to offer. Um, our council meetings are an hour and a half and they are done by monthly. So you're definitely as a council partner will have access to those meetings. If you're not a council partner and you're looking to become a council partner or already a council partner, please be sure to join um, the council uh, committee meetings as well. Um, next slide, Colleen. And I just want to give a huge shout out to our uh, 2024 uh, Webeck East Council partners. So if you see your company's name up here, thank you very much for um, being a partner of choice. Um, and looking forward to doing business with everyone um, throughout the year um, as council chair. So thank you very much. And everyone have a good day because I think we're almost at the end. So Colleen, I'm giving the virtual microphone back to you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Erica. So we are starting to get towards the end of our program. I would like to now bring Liz back to talk about ways that you can support us. Um, you know, we are a small nonprofit and um, we directly support hundreds of, and hundreds of businesses and provide so many programs. So Liz, I will kick it over to you. Great, thanks so much. So the uh, you've heard about uh, some of the great work that we've done some of the great work that we're planning to do. This is how we're able to do it. Um, we receive a, a sort of council partnership uh, annual fees, but we're really able to go above and beyond based on sponsorships. So um, a virtual round of applause for all of our corporate sponsors whose names you see on the screen. And uh, even more importantly, or as importantly, is our uh, WBE sponsors and they continue to grow. So um, next slide, please. These are our WBE sponsors. So we talked about ways to get engaged as far as uh, our committees. And uh, we talked about our pitch con contest, our pitch competition, scholarships. We can do all of that and some of the extra things that we're able to based on our sponsorships. So we greatly appreciate all of these companies. Again, a round of applause. And we thank you very much. Next slide. And again, as a nonprofit, uh, we can accept donations any time of the year. I will send out again to all of the certified WBEs, the WBE sponsorship opportunities. Um, but if you wanna click either of these, or both, uh, we're always willing to take and, and grateful for taking any donations that you care to make throughout the year. Next slide, please. I'm going to introduce one of our newer team members. Uh, if you, uh, by a show of hands, how many folks follow us on social media? So you're seeing some really outstanding posts. That is uh, the 
hard work of Steve and Taylor, our outreach and engagement team. You wouldn't believe that we only have two because we're out there, we're on every channel, and Taylor's going to tell you how to make sure that you can connect with us virtually. Take it away. Yeah. Thank you, Liz. Um, it's really a special thing to be able to share all of the information, including what we went over today. So I'll share where you can follow us in a moment, but I wanted to start by reviewing some of the things on our website. If you ever went and you're looking for something specific, um, first, Steve mentioned subscribing to our newsletter. We do put out a monthly newsletter and then individual promotions for all of our unique events. You can subscribe at that purple bar at the top of our website, um, enter your information, select the list that you want to be included on, and then that's it. You'll get all of our information sent directly to you via email. Second, our events page. You can visit that by clicking events at the top of uh, that um, selection there, um, and you'll be able to see all of our events. You can also view by category those different stages that we offer. So the startup stages, a lot of our educational programs, if you're looking specifically for those, just select that and it'll categorize that for you. We also have some sustained stage events up there and some signature events too that we mentioned. So definitely check those out. Third, our opportunities page. It's a highly visited page on our website and the easiest for you to get to that, if you go to grow your business at the top and then click on opportunities, it'll take you to that page and you can see everything that's there. Um, you'll see three different types of posts and these are opportunities outside of We Back East. So either provided by our council partners, other women business centers, things to that nature that might be interesting to you, to our audience, um, things like outside conferences and events, business opportunities and RFPs and grants and scholarships. And we also have our posting guidelines. If you ever share anything with us to share, it just kind of shows you how we vet that information to then push out for you. Fourth, our news and our blogs page, which we are working on growing, those success stories that Liz mentioned. You can also categorize our blogs, that little drop down menu. I think it's on the right hand side of that page. There are stories, um, women who own, they're from women like you. Um, when you have stories to share with your peers, something exciting, advice, things of that nature, there's a lot of great stories on our blog from um, people like you. Quick tips from the staff and board, that is a lot of great advice, answers to questions that we get often, they go a little bit more in depth. Um, so look there if you have a question about something in particular. And then our press room has our press releases, recaps of our events, things of that nature. So definitely check that out. While you're on our website, you can check out our latest feature, our access widget, bottom right corner, I believe, that purple dot. You can make any adjustments to create, um, you know, any adjustments for your accessibility needs that you need for yourself. And then finally, we I share all of this because we want you to view this as a platform for your voice to be heard as well. So if you have an upcoming opportunity that you think is worth sharing with our audience, an idea for a blog post, things like that, my email is there and I'll put it in the chat too. Please reach out, um, connect with us. Um, we want to get your voice out there as well. So here are, is all of our platforms on social media. We post similarly on all of them. So follow us where you're most active. If that's not for you, I, I know totally get it. It can be overwhelming. Our newsletter would be the next best thing for that. Um, that's it for me, I think. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you'll receive a copy of this presentation and the recording in a follow-up email. Um, we can't wait to see you all. That's all I have. I don't know if Liz, you wanna um, close this out maybe? So um, I just wanna say thank you to everyone. We appreciate you. We're here to work with and for you. Um, we put our contact information in the Zoom, I'm, I'm sorry, in the chat. Uh, so please take a look and everything is on our website. So uh, please check out our website and thank you for participating. And we look forward to working with you in 2024. So thank you all.